in Vidya school the sum of all ages of all the 29 people that is the head teacher and students is 696 if the age of each head each teacher and each student be one year five years and three years more then the average age of the whole staff would have been three years more if the number of teachers is the square root of a two digit number which is also a perfect cube then the number of students in the school are all right so basically there's a school where the sum of the ages of all the 29 people there are 29 people which includes heads teachers and students is 696 the sum total age of all this people is 696 this is the age of each head headmaster let's say right head is any headmaster each head each teacher and each student be one year five years and three years more then the average of the whole staff would have been three years more the average would have been three years more <coughs> okay if the number of teachers is the square root of a two digit number if the number of teachers is the square root of a two digit number which is also a perfect cube then the number of students in the school are Alright, so let us assume that the number of teachers, number of heads and number of students are T, H, S respectively. Number of heads are H, number of teachers are T and number of students are S. These are the three values let us assume. Right? So according to the question there are 29 people. So can we say H plus T plus S equals to 29? Yes. Total is 29. Now understand the question says that the number, look at the last part first. Number of teachers is the square root of a two digit number square root of a two digit number which is also a perfect cube which is also a perfect cube i think the only value that is satisfying these conditions is eight right see look at the two digit numbers right look at the two digit i mean square root of two digit numbers right what what are the perfect squares which are two digit numbers 16 starting from 16 right you cannot consider 149 those are single digit numbers two digit numbers which are squares are 16 25 36 49 64 81 right now square root of 16 is 4 square root of 25 is 5 6 7 8 and 9 so he says the number of teachers is a square root of a two digit number so square root of two digit numbers are 4 5 6 7 8 9 which is also a perfect cube now is 4 a perfect cube no is 5 a perfect cube no is 6 a perfect cube no is 7 a perfect cube no is 8 a perfect cube yes 8 is a perfect cube is 9 a perfect cube? No. So I think the number of teachers is 8. You look at it. The number of teachers is the square root of a two digit number. Square root of two digit number 64 is 8, which is also a perfect cube. 8 is also a perfect cube. So from this, we know that the number of teachers is 8. T is equal to 8. Number of teachers is 8. So what will be H plus S? H plus S will be equal to 29 minus 8, which is 21. That's one equation that number of heads plus number of uh, students is 21 right number of heads plus number of students is 21 now understand he says <coughs> if each head each teacher and each student ages are increased by one year five years and three years then the average of the whole staff here would increase by three years see there are total 29 people i mean just go, i mean in my view this value 696 is not needed at all he says the average increases by how many years three years average the average would increase by three years for how many people 29 people yes or no if each person's age increases by three years the total increment will be how much the total increase will be equal to how much average increases by three years for how many people 29 people so can you say total increment is 87 years yes total increment is 87 years are you able to follow the total increment in the value has happened uh, that has happened is 87 years why has this happened because each heads age increased by one year each teachers age increased by five years each uh, students age increased by three years so the total increment that came up was 87 how do we know this average he says increased by three years for 29 people so 3 into 29 is 87 now we have to balance this 87 total increment understand increment in teachers what will be the increment in teachers teachers increment I mean, it's not the correct terminology, but teachers increment means increment in the ages of teachers. There are total how many teachers? Eight teachers. Eight teachers. And we know that each teacher's age increased by five years. So total increment will be how much? Five years into eight, which is 40. Total increment will be what? 40. Right? <coughs> total increment in the age of teachers is 40 years. Which implies, 
इंक्रीमेंट इन हेड्स प्लस स्टूडेंट्स इज इक्वल टू व्हाट 87 सेवन माइनस फोर्टी फोर्टी सेवन आर यूबल टू फॉलो टोटल इंक्रीमेंट इज 87 सेवन एज ऑफ टीचर्स इंक्रीमेंट इज 40 सो ऑब्वियसली फॉर रिमेनिंग पीपल हेड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स इंक्रीमेंट इज 47 सेवन हाउ मेनी हेड्स आर देर एच हेड्स एंड यू नो दैट ईच हेड्स एज इंक्रीजेस बाय वन ईयर सो वन इन टू एच प्लस हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देर एस स्टूडेंट्स एंड यू नो दैट ईच स्टूडेंट्स एज इंक्रीज बाय थ्री इयर्स सो थ्री इन टू एस इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी सेवन इनबल टू फॉलो दिस इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी सेवन सो बेसिकली वी नो दैट एच प्लस थ्री एस इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी सेवन दिस इज वन इक्वेशन एच प्लस एस इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी वन दट इज अदर इक्वेशन टू इक्वेशन टू वन नॉन्स कैन यू सॉल्व येस Subtract what happens? Subtract that. This is equation number one. This is equation number two. So h plus three s minus of h minus s. So h and h gets cancelled. Three s minus s. Two s. Two s equals to forty seven minus twenty one. Twenty six. Two s is twenty six. S is equals to thirteen. Thirteen. Yes. Number of students. So by solving one and two, you'll get s is equal to thirteen. The number of students are thirteen. Option four. 